Seoul City Institute has expressed concerns at what it calls a gendered attack and patriarchy against acting Chief Justice Sisi Kampepe. Uh, it's by the Jacob Zuma Foundation. This comes after she sentenced the former president to 15 years, uh, for 15 months in prison, I beg your pardon, uh, for defying the Zondo Commission. That's 15 months. I want to be clear on that. Uh, let's now speak to the Institute's CEO, uh, Fina Kodisang. Fina, good morning to you. I want to read this quote, if we could, uh, for a moment, and then you can help me understand and unpack that for me. Judicially emotional and angry and not consistent with our Constitution. I was speaking to Toomey at the start of the show. Many people upset saying, if this was a male judge, and it's sad we have to have this conversation, if this was a male judge, the words emotional and angry would never have been used. Is that how you view this? That's how we view this, and that is why we issued the statement. You would remember that in 2017, similar sentiments were shared when there was the ANC policy conference, and um, the ANC Women's League had six men representing them, and whether those uh, statements were refuted in the media, the fact that it made rounds that women are emotional, that is why we had to bring in men to help us with the debate were words that were used in 2017. So we see the words again being used this time uh, because a woman judge is, is making a ruling. The fact that the words help, even back then, having to help a woman back then was even used, I thought we were beyond something like this. Why do you think uh, this kind of attack has been made uh, against uh, the judge in this particular case. Do you think this is a way of trying to rather move the argument away from the judgment uh, and its validity of a constitutional court judge uh, and more trying to distract from what the real issues are? I believe so. And that's how patriarchy operates. You know, with patriarchy, the powers that be, the male powers that be, would always undermine the woman. The woman is deemed... Uh, as subordinate. So when a woman is in leadership and they're exercising that authority, they're exercising that leadership, patriarchy attacks them. That's the oldest trick that has always been used against women in power, women in leadership. We must look at them as weaklings. We must look at them as emotional beings, as people who can execute their role, you know, that empowerment as, as we termed it of these women. Uh, as far as the judiciary is concerned, uh, Fina, tell me, who do you think, uh, when it comes to the, the judiciary, should have spoken out against that kind uh, of commentary? I'm sure the Jacob Zuma Foundation are going to say they were not being patriarchal by saying emotional and angry. They could argue, I've not spoken to them, but they could argue and say uh, a man could easily get emotional and angry as well. Uh, saying that you're taking this out of context. If they were to put that question to you, what would your reply be? Our reply would be, we have never had the word emotional being used, even when they were making um, their case against uh, Zondo. You know, the word emotional never came in. Uh, angry never came in. But because it's women, and we know that women, uh, feminists are called angry. And we're not saying Judge Kampempe is a feminist. But we are saying whenever there's, a, whenever there's a woman and a woman is doing their duty, their woman is in leadership, we then use words to describe them. There are st um, stereotyped, you know, words that we use to disempower them. So if it was a man, I doubt the word emotional would have come in. We're talking about the apex court of the country, the constitutional court. It's the overriding authority as far as courts in the country are concerned. Two other names would come to mind that I would have imagined. Fina, you can tell me if you agree and if you do why. And if you disagree, please tell me why you disagree. I would expect two other names, senior names in the country, to come out and speak out against emotional and angry in this case. One would be the president who upholds the constitution by de facto upholds what the constitutional court decides. Two is the chief justice himself. Yeah. I, be, I believe they could have. You know, and that would have actually even strengthened the fight against uh, women uh, oppression in this country because, yes, women are angry and women are justified. Their anger is justified because who is being killed in this country? It's women. Who is the face of poverty in this country? It's women. Who is the face of oppression in this country? It's women. So the women are angry and justified, but it doesn't take away from them doing their job. 
So the Chief Justice and the President speaking out against that would have really made their position on them supporting the fight against women oppression in this country firm. Well, I appreciate your time in speaking to us, and hopefully we do hear something from either of those two leaders about this. Seoul City Institute CEO Fina Korisang joining us here on ENCA.